Hey guys, it's CSPAN001 here. Welcome you to part, I believe, 11 or 12 or something of Destroy All Humans, Big Willy Unleashed to 100%. Last time, we headed off to Fantasy Atoll and did a lot of stuff there. This time, returning to Fairfield to finish up the two odd jobs that are now available to us, with still one more coming later on. Team building, the Furon Efficiency Expert has it in for crypto, and the tests just keep getting harder. The next test is scientifically designed to crush your spirit and... So what's the deal here, baby Einstein? I mean, sure, we march to the beat of a different drummer. I get that. But what's with the spirit crushing? What's in it for you if I fail? Because, you brainless brute, if you fail, someone will have to take over your lucrative DNA harvesting operation. And I'm sure once I deliver my report to the Emperor, that Furon will be me. Thanks for the honesty, Gandhi. I really appreciate it. It really makes me feel better about the part where I feed you your own freshly harvested brainstem. Ah, uh, but don't you see, that's the beauty of this plan. As an official emissary of the Furon Emperor, harming me as grounds for immediate execution and permanent deletion from the clone banks. Permanent deletion? I don't know. Might be worth it. While you mull over your options, let me describe in short words your next mission. Using the reanimatron. Reanima what's it? Ah oh, yes, shorter words. The magic stick that makes zombies. The zombie gun? Man, I love that thing. Yes, take the zombie gun. Make enough zombies in the allotted time and you pass. Let me guess. You're not gonna tell me how much time I have. What a fabulous idea. Ready, set, go. What a douchebag. He doesn't even tell us the time limit. Which is unfortunate because I don't need, I don't know what the time limit is. I could probably look it up if I wanted. It's a dreadfully simple concept. So, pretty simply, you just, you have to make 25 zombies in the time period, and unfortunately, the zo and don't worry, they don't have to remain zombies, they can be killed and stuff, and it won't affect your time or anything. Unfortunately, there just are not a lot of uh, people that seem to be out at this time of the game for whatever reason. It's like they all just disappear for this mission. And of course, we're not getting zombie gun ammo. But that's the zombie gun. I don't think we've actually seen it in action yet, so you can see what it does. It obviously turns people into zombies, but it's really, really cool. This is one of the cooler weapons in the game. Crypto actually mentioned it earlier on in the game by accident. Like, in one mission, he's like, I mean, we have twice as many weapons as last game, like the zombie gun. Alright, we've already gotten, uh, we've got 16 left to do. This should give us a little extra ammo. Got it. Okay. Now we have additional zombie gun ammo. Uh, the cows and stuff don't count, but you can shoot them and it'll instant kill them. Oh, we have a soccer team out. This is actually going to be very helpful. That helped out a lot, actually. Unfortunately, I can't seem to be lucky enough with the ammo. Alright, now let's get this group of puny humans over here. What am I, Jorgen Von Strangle? Puny humans! Timmy Turner! You puny... Alright, I don't even know the word. I don't even know what he said exactly. Been too long since I've seen, like, the good days of Fairly Odd Parents. All right, we only need to zombify eight more people, and I believe there's going to be people out here. Oh, okay, we can just, uh, we can hit you, definitely. I just hate that you have to transmog for this type of ammo. I don't remember what the time limit is, though. I mean, since they don't ever give it to you. The Roller Girl Hideout's a good place to go as well, because there's just a lot of people here. Okay, this will work. All right, only one more. Let's just find one more person. You'll work just fine. Man, we did it, guys. 244, we did it. And zombies galore. A regular zombie palooza. <sighs> Sloppy and slow. And I'm docking your points for the blatant anachronism. Still, you seem to have squeaked by again. 
And we did it. Don't worry, guys. We'll deal with Mr. Furon Douchebag later on in the game. But we still have to deal with him again in the third area as well. Do a task for him or whatever. He actually, you'll actually end up doing two side missions related to him in the fifth area of the game. Excuse me, not fifth area, fourth area of the game. For a total of five side quests related to him. Which is nice that we, uh, which is not really nice actually. Okay, Disco Down Home, Down Home Disco Hootin' Nanny. Colonel Cluckin's Kitchen is drumming up clientele for their establishment with a Disco Hootin' Nanny. Thou shalt not stand. This shall not stand. I've become aware that Colonel Cluckin is copying our idea to use disco music to attract humans. Obviously, the man has no taste. Actually, he's quite clever. In other circumstances, I'd even admire the gentleman. But that's beside the point. Cluckin is conducting a dance contest as a promotion for his restaurant. And I want to redirect his efforts to promote Big Wit... All right, uh, let's go ahead and do this. So, what you're going to do here is you have to bring these four people back to here and then protect them. So, pretty simple. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to the disintegrator because that thing's going to help us a lot in this mission. That and then the anal probe. So, actually, the best strategy for this mission is not just to individually body snatch them and bring them back over. The best strategy is to body snatch one, but at the same time, PK another one back to the area. This will make this go much, much faster. But if you lose one, even one dancer, you automatically fail the mission, which is kind of annoying. But this is the fastest way to do it, is to body snatch one person and PK another person at the same time. So that way you only have to make two trips. Yeah, she's inside. Okay, that's two. Just two more. So yeah, pretty simple mission here. So far, now it gets a little bit trickier in a moment. And once we finish up with this side mission, I'm probably going to show you guys all the stuff you can research in the game, like that gives you the upgrades, because I do kind of want to show that off just in case you're like me and maybe want to do a little bit of off-screen uh, grinding. I don't know how much I'm going to do, but like I said, I think I need to upgrade, like, basically the Big Willy fully needs to be upgraded by the end of the game. And, or it's just helpful to have it fully upgraded. And then also to fully have the Saucer Shields and Cloak fully upgraded is also very helpful. Just one remaining. What can we Done. Do? Party Crypto, Kraken is retaliating by attacking our party. Those Sounds good to me. Crash the crashers. Okay, so now you just have to kill the people who are attacking. Now, they take a moment to even, like, attack the people, which is really nice. And they aren't hard to destroy. But, like I said, if you lose one of your uh, dancer people, then you automatically fail the mission. So be very careful with this. And if you need to, just feel free to open up on them with any other weapon, or excuse me, with a uh, PK if you need to like get him out of the way or something. But this stupid roller girl is not helping. Let's get rid of her. So yeah, pretty simple mission. Nothing really too bad about this. I'm amazed he hasn't said something about Big Willy yet. Good job, Pox. You're finally becoming more mature. I'm going to wander off and go bash a few guys in leisure suits. A little rage therapy. Sounds good. Okay, guys. Mission success. That is basically everything we can do in Fairfield right now. Because right now all we have left is one odd job, and it does not become available until much later in the game. And it has the remaining four uh, collectibles. So let's go ahead and save real quick, but, oh wait, no, it, it auto-saved, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Okay, but actually, we are at 51% completion, so we are over halfway through the game, guys, making great progress. I feel like just frying you guys with my disintegrator because it'll get it closer to being upgraded, even though, like I said, most of the weapons really don't need it that badly. 
Though it, it does help to have, and I may end up doing more off-screen grinding than I sound like. All right. So, back to the saucer, I said I'd talk to you guys about the research. I think I've shown this off before, but I want to show you what you have to do in depth, since we have a lot of time in this video. Uh, to, abduct, to finish up everything, you generally need a certain number of energy cells and data cores collected, as well as some other requirement. In this case, abduct a whole bunch of humans to fully upgrade the abduction ray. The death ray requires a total of 200 kills and energy cells and data cores as well. The electro cone requires a total of, I think, 90 kills, yeah, and a bunch of other stuff. Quantum Deconstructor requires 270 kills, which takes a very long time to get, but it's definitely worth fully upgrading. Sonic Boom requires 75 total kills, but it's already upgraded otherwise. The Shield requires 71 humans abducted, as well as draining some vehicles, which isn't really difficult. Uh, the Cloak, which is what I'm more concerned with, 90 humans need to be abducted, and 40 vehicles need to be drained. So not really difficult, but we also need a lot of energy cells, but those energy cells won't come till a little bit later on in the game, and the recharge isn't really all that big a deal. So the saucer and the big willy, like I said, are the two main things that I need to upgrade. Uh, the heat beam uh, only needs 20 total kills. That one's really easy to fully upgrade. The regurgitron, we just need a few more kills with it as well. The windbreaker, which I have not even used yet. You need 100 total kills, which isn't really difficult, but a lot of DNA, so we won't have that until later on. But really, you don't need the Big Willy robot really at all in the third area of the game, so we have plenty of time. And eat 45 humans, which is not too difficult. So basically just kills with each weapon and eat some humans. And what I'm going to do, if I ever choose to truly grind for this stuff, I may actually turn on the infinite health cheat, just because for grinding, I really just... It takes so freaking long to grind for some of these kills, and dying just makes it take even longer. So if you're going to grind for stuff, I highly suggest just using cheats because it's easier. And I mean, I would disable it, obviously, for the videos. But that's just my suggestion if you're going to grind that up. Okay, so for the anal probe, you need 90 total kills, a lot of DNA, some more energy cells, and data cores. So the anal probe would take a very long time to fully upgrade. Uh, ball Lightning, 200 total kills, which isn't really all that difficult, but also energy cells and data cores. The Disintegrator is actually fairly well upgraded already, but we still need more energy cells, data cores, and kills. I would say don't worry about upgrading that one like grinding for it, because you'll probably get it naturally. The Ion Detonator I really need to work on, though, because the fully upgraded Ion Detonator is really, really good. Uh, but actually, the best place to grind for kills is the final area of the game actually, so I may save until then to grind for the ground kills if I really need them. The Zappomatic, surprisingly, hasn't been all that heavily upgraded either. Only 120 kills, and 130 zombies created. Uh, Crypto Shields, we just need more DNA and kill six more police officers. So that is something I definitely want to do. Carry a lot of PK weight and destroy military and moving civilian vehicles. Nothing too difficult, though, with that. And then a bunch of stuff for the PK hypnotize that doesn't really matter all that much. And body snatch, 45 total people. Oh, PK transmogrify. We have to kill a bunch of soldiers and Cluckin's crew to fully upgrade that. And then brain battle. Uh, that's not really a big deal. And that's basically it. So that's all the stuff you got to upgrade. Like I said, I may do a bit of off-screen grinding soon for both the Saucer and for the Big Willy Robot. And for those, I'm not going to put on infinite health. I only put on infinite health for the ground as Crypto, just because of how annoying it can be. So guys, by the time of the next video, I may have heavily upgraded all the Saucer and Big Willy weapons, and I highly suggest you do the same, especially for the Saucer. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.